Hey everyone, Brian here, Hodges1455, coming at you with another video. Today's video, I've got three new cards to get shared and put away in the collection. And this first one here is a 2018 Mbappe. Just a great looking card here. One of the greats in the game. Love the background. It's like a faded shot there. It's a really slick looking card. And I love how the bottom here has the uh, international debut date when he made his debut. So really thrilled to be able to check this player off on my Franken set. For now, can always upgrade later. Um, really wanted his 2017 rookie, um, either the Select or the Topps Chrome. But those were still pretty pricey and uh, ended up opting to get this card for the Franken set for the time being to get him represented in there. And uh, this was only $25, so... Way less than one of those two rookie cards, which I can always snag a copy of later. But still a, a tremendous looking card. Really happy to add that one to the Franken set. Then two more cards here have a 1975 Tops Jerry Kuzman. Big fan of Jerry Kuzman. Um, tremendous left handed pitcher. I mean, we're talking great company here. When I think of uh, all-time great lefties, uh, one of the players I think of is Whitey Ford. And Whitey Ford, his career war is just a couple ahead of Jerry Kuzman. That's how close they are. They're both in the in the 50s in career war. Just a shame that uh, Jerry Kuzman shares a rookie card with Nolan Ryan. So it is way up there in price. But really enjoy picking up his other cards, especially his second year with the Rookie Cup, the 69. It's a really fun card. But really happy to add this card to the, to the collection as well. Just an underrated rated player in my mind. And speaking of underrated players, check out the 72 tops of Dick Allen. Man. Really fun card. Screams. Early 70s there. The 72 tops design. That's what the pack of the card looks like. Dick Allen, really underappreciated. Uh, I fully expect him to make the haul one day. He is also has a career war in the in the fifties as well, ahead of other Hall of Famers like Larry Doby, Willie Stargell, and Enos Country Slaughter. So great company there. Just a matter of time, in my opinion, until Dick gets in. Well, hey everyone, happy Friday to everyone. And thanks for watching and enjoy the hobby.